Hello. I have the pleasure of sitting here talking to you. The yes, Sheridan Milestone. The Sheridan Let's Milestone. Go. So, dude, it's already week four. Yes. We got to make our predictions. Just us. Jonah's in okay. class. Jared's, right. Jared's busy boy. Yeah. So, first of all, we should talk about a little bit. Dude, the Titans, uh-huh. that's tough. They're still yeah. scheduled to play their game against who are they playing? They're playing the Steelers. They're uh-huh. still scheduled to play. But that's not really that fair, huh? Yeah. Especially if you have to close your facilities and stuff, that's tough. Yeah, it is. They they won't have a lot of practice times. Yeah, and I think like eight guys have it, and that's scary for they played the Vikings. Which guys have um, COVID? I don't think they disclosed that. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be really tough. I I don't know. Like, I would just want to sit out that week. They should just make that a buy. It might work out, though, because, you know, the players will stay away from the Titans players. They can get easy runs because, like, they won't want COVID-19. Be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, so you did really well last week. I did. I, I didn't think I did that hot. I, you did fine. You're so yeah. you're uh, all of our total records. So this is what it is Sheridan's at 31 and 16. I didn't count the um Bengals game. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of a tie. So yeah. Yeah. And then um, Jonas 30, 17. I'm 28 and 19, dude. Okay. Well, you're still like only two games away from like Jonah and three games away from me. It's not that bad. Well, I'm so close to, so like, the Falcons and then mm-hmm. the Vikings. Yeah. And um, who else had it close? I feel like someone else had it close. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure, though. Okay. Know. Yeah. And then Jared, 35 and 12, pretty studly. Uh-huh. But, yeah, there were so many close games. Like, yeah. um, the Vikings blew their lead. Oh, Fal- yeah. No, that was Falcons do what they usually do, blow their lead. And then um, – there was oh, and the te- uh, the Texans killed me too. You're the you're the only one out of all of us that picked the Texans last week. Oh, okay. Yeah, lucky yeah, boy. Good. And then we all picked the Jags. They the laid Jags. a complete egg. Yeah, I couldn't see that coming. Like my mom, when she we were watching the game at like the final draft place that we went eight at, and mm-hmm. she like we were watching it, and she's like, "I told you, you should have picked the um, the Dolphins to win," and I didn't, oh. and that was a mistake. Well, we didn't know because. I didn't realize that the Jags line was that trash. Yeah, I th- they they'd like done pretty well against the other two teams, and so. I know. Okay, so, yeah. oh, and also, do you, what surprised you a little bit about Monday Night Football? Um. Well, I thought the Ravens were gonna win. Like. Yeah, I know. Me too. I could have. I could have bet money on that because I thought their defense was way better, but then they just got shredded. And I didn't start. I didn't start Patrick Mahomes in fantasy. I was really bummed yeah, about that. Tough. Then, I know. I thought I, Cam was gonna do have a better game because he was I against think, Las Vegas. I didn't think he was gonna be that kind of game though. I didn't think. Yeah. I thought at least, um, the, I thought it was gonna be kind of lower scoring but really competitive, and it really yeah. wasn't because the Ravens literally could not get any stops. Yeah, I know it was rough. And one of their touchdowns wasn't even an offensive; touchdown. it was just a special team study. Yeah. So yeah, it, it was, was not a good house. Not a good showing by Lamar Jackson. But no, not. At I all. think we'll bounce back for sure. He's solid. Well, yeah, for sure. I've been watching a bunch. Of, they're talking about. I don't think the Niners should do anything with Nick Mullins. Yeah, I was talking about Grant Cohen. Like I was watching him, and he's like, um, "I think that we can. We have him for so cheap, and he's such a yeah. good backup. Especially if Jimmy gets out. Like, I don't think we should do anything to get him. Yeah. How long is his contract for? Still, I'm not sure, but I don't think he'd be worth like a second round pick. I feel like he's already solidified himself, and picks are like. I feel like. I wouldn't waste, not waste him, but take a risk on like a second or third round pick for Nick Mullins because he's already like a solidified guy and he fits well in our offense. Yeah, and no, I think if he, um, maybe if it's like his last year in the contract or whatever, then maybe think about that. But if he still has a couple years left, like definitely don't trade him away. I think that we should keep him though. Like you have yeah. like one of the better jobs in the world. You get to sit behind Jimmy. If Jimmy gets hurt, yeah. you come in the game. But you're on a yeah. winning team right now. Like I don't know. Unless the Niners actually deal him away, I feel like he should yeah. do whatever he could can to stay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So to start it off, we're gonna go through our predictions for week four. So okay. we have one of the better matchups probably in Thursday night football history between the Denver Broncos and New York Jets. Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is going to take the dub on this? I mean, it's kind of hard because like both of them are no win teams, huh? Both of them, but I just I feel like the Den like Denver, even though they've lost a lot of players, they still have some people on that team that are decent, like Noah Fant mm-hmm. and stuff. And I think there's they're still they've got have a couple of players. Yeah, and they do have really good running backs. And like the Jets, just 
they have nobody like Frank Gore. Frank Gore is like, you know, he was good, he's but he's definitely good. not, not comparable to like Melvin Gordon and Philip Lindsay. Yeah. I think and, that the Broncos will probably take this. Mm-hmm. Don't you yeah. think so? Yeah. I'm, that's what my guess too. I think they're going to win. Sam Darnold, but isn't, uh, I don't know who's, who's back or whatever, but yeah. Cause they're, they were missing Jameson Crowder and they obviously don't have a Le'Veon. Yeah. I feel like Le'Veon hasn't even played that many games with them. Bro. Yeah, he got hurt first week, I think. So, no, like in general. Oh yeah, he hasn't last year. I don't think he played, did. He didn't do good at all. No. So, um, but I think the score. Um, I mean, who's their QB? Driscoll. Yeah, Jeff Driscoll. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just don't see a long future there for Adam Gase. I think he's probably on his way out. Yeah, I think this season he's done. Like, if he doesn't. If they don't win a few games or like at least get five hundred, think he's out. Hundred percent, dude. Um, out of, this, yeah. Out of um Sam Darnold and um Daniel Jones, I feel so bad for them. They have no help at all. Yeah, I know. I saw the Sam this the touchdown he threw against the 49ers was really good. Mm-hmm. That was a cool touchdown, and like he just needs like weapons. Mm-hmm. If either he's, a, he's, a, yeah, he's a good QB and stuff, but like if he just had more people to like throw to, yeah, and then he had to be solid. I think the Giants are on their way there, but we'll get to them in a second for mm-hmm. sure. But okay, so we got the Niners and Eagles, which is going to be probably oh, we didn't we didn't do the score. We didn't do the score. Oh, yeah, for my the, bad, my bad. That's all good. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say twenty four twenty. Um, uh, Broncos twenty four twenty Broncos. Yeah. I'll probably go like, I don't see this being too high scoring, but I'll go like, I'll say like twenty eight to like. 17 uh-huh yeah that's definitely reasonable so. yeah i because like if the jets actually get in because they have the capability of driving on teams yeah like getting in the red zone all they have to do is capitalize you yeah, know they were doing pretty good like some in some por- parts of it but against the niners they're actually able to get down the field but then they we got stopped apart. on fourth down yeah that one to on that fourth and one mm. yeah okay yeah, so they, also, they got a few field goals so mm-hmm. yeah okay so carson wentz versus Nick Mullins is probably going to start this game, huh? Yeah. And then, dude, we're, we're pretty banged up because I don't know if uh, Raheem's going to play. And then, obviously, Tevin's out for a little bit. Yeah. And Ra- uh, Raheem. Or did I just say Raheem? Yeah, you said Raheem. I mean, and then Jarek is hurt, too. Yeah, I don't know if he's out for, like, a He has, like, a rib or... contusion. So, yeah. I don't know what he's like. So, Jermichael Hasty and, um, oh, and Michael Hasty and Jeff are going to get lots of carries, probably. Yeah, and Jeff Wilson Jr. did pretty good. Yeah. He got um I think I think the Eagles team is definitely better than the Giants and the um and the Jets so far. Yeah. Like I think they're more complete, but also Carson Wentz has just been throwing like awful passes and stuff mm-hmm. and like he's just not good. Is Devo going to be back? Um well, he's he's like in practice on Wednesday, I think, but I, I heard maybe they were just going to ease him in and like have him, him have him limited, like very limited on like yeah, I could see him maybe being like our third string running back. Yeah, if we needed him. Yeah, or something. I, I don't know though. Okay, so you're obviously gonna go with the Niners. I'm pretty yeah. sure this is not gonna be a close game. Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it will be either. I think it. I don't think it might won't be 35 nine, but it's gonna be like how it was last week. But it's definitely not gonna be like. I definitely will give Carson Wentz three touchdowns at least. Three touchdowns. Yeah. I don't think they're giving up anything on the ground. I think they're going to yeah. shut Miles Sanders down for sure. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see him getting lucky. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to say he gets two touchdowns. I'm going to say it's going to be seventeen to um to twenty eight. Uh, okay, Niners. That's a closer game. That's not like too crazy. Yeah. Not I'll probably, the, I'll probably yeah. go like thirty four to twenty one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's definitely possible. They'll probably score in garbage time. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, our pass rush is still as solid as hell. Yeah, I know. Like, that Hyder Jr. guy was doing really yeah, good. Yeah, Gary Hyder's a beast. He was like one of the better pass rushers from this last week. Yeah, and Deion Jordan. He got a fumble and a sack. Yeah. yeah. And even our secondary saw like Jason Barrett's a beast. I was like, I'm so, like, that's so weird that he was flying under the radar. Yeah, I know. And I, ho- I hope Ziggy Ansah gets more involved. I think he will mm-hmm. be. Yeah, well, yeah, for sure. Especially yeah. again, then Dre Greenlaw. I hopefully he comes back next week. I'm not yeah. 
our defense is still solid though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we did really good last that week. That was honestly like our the, my biggest worry. Like I wasn't too concerned about offense. It was mostly mm-hmm. defense. If we could like contain because they have pretty good wide the Giants have pretty good wide receivers. Yeah. Okay. And so now the Colts versus the freaking undefeated Chicago Bears. Yeah, I don't this think is- I didn't see this coming. I didn't see yeah. it I'll start from the Bears. No, I thought I think the Bears are a pretty good team. And I think Nick Foles, he did really good. And I think he's probably going to be the starter this coming week. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm um, – also the Colts, they have a really good defense. They and um, their wideouts are – I mean, K.Y. Hilton, he's okay. And also Phillip Rivers is um, solid. They got Paris but, Campbell that was hurt. That was That's tough. Uh-huh. Yeah. Who's their other uh, one? They got Pittman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have Jonathan Taylor. Solid. Well, yeah, yeah. Taylor's just John Taylor's a beast. So um, I'm gonna have to go. Even though I've been always going with the Bears these past three weeks, I'm gonna have to say um, I'm gonna have to go with the uh, the Colts on this one. Yeah. I think I think they're when their defense is just like legit. And if they so, have Darius Leonard, yeah, they do, and he's really good. He's a good linebacker. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm definitely have to go with the Colts. I think I've picked them the majority of the time, except they lost Week One. Yeah. But I, um, I really like what they're doing there. Like, Jonathan yeah. is a stud. And Phillip Rivers, I think he's he's still got a little bit of juice in the tank. Yeah, no, he does. He does. I think the, I think the score, I could see it being this one being close just because of the Bears' defense keeping them in it. Mm-hmm. Um, I could see it being close. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say 30, I mean, uh, no, I'm going to say 28 to 31. Um uh, Coles. Jesus, say the fucking winning score first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Just kidding. Thirty-one yeah. twenty-eight. Yeah, Coles. Okay. Yeah, that's that looks like a good score. Like, yeah, it could definitely be a like a shootout. But also, I'm interested. So they benched Mitchell Trubisky because they could only score like ten points in yeah. the quarters, right? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. tough. Yeah. And I don't know if I 100 percent trust in Nick Foles. Yeah, I don't know. He, I mean, I guess what I saw about that was like the Falcons' defense was pretty tired when he got put in, and like mm-hmm. they've been playing all game. They puts in fresh QB that just starts slinging. So I mean, yeah, I'll probably go Colts. They've been scoring a good amount of points, but I'm gonna have to go like maybe maybe 24 to probably. It's probably gonna be a close game, 21. Mm-hmm. But the Bears, I don't know what to think. I'm still yeah. not sold. Same with, know. Same with yeah. the Steelers. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of weird. All right. And then this is going to be f- – I feel like um, Gardner Minshew is going to hop back on track and just shred the Bengals' defense. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to go with the Jags on this one yeah. over Joe Burrow. Um, yeah, I uh, think, yeah. I think they – yeah, they just – I like Gardner Minshew. And what he did this um, for week one and week two was pretty phenomenal. But um, Joe Burrow has been able to keep it close – which eat with each team he's played so far. Um, and, uh, and I just, but I just think that Jags, their offense is pretty good. And, mm-hmm. but the Bengals do have AJ green and John Ross and them and Tyler Boyd, I think it is or whatever. And they're really good. But um, I'm going to have to say it's going to be, I don't think this is going to be that high. Dude, I cannot wait to slow that down. Whenever you say, I got to say, it's going to <laughs> sound absolutely toasted. <laughs> Sounds so no. funny. Slow down. No. <laughs> I'm going to have to say it's going to be 21 to 17 uh, Jags. Okay. 21, 17. Yeah, dude. If you got, if anybody like has the uh, Jags receivers like I do for this, I feel like this would be the game to start them. Yeah. But Keelan Cole, he could be hurt. I forget. He got his bell rung. Uh huh. Um, I forget who hit him. Yeah. Uh, but he got his bell rung a little bit. And then Lavishka Chenault, he's yeah. pretty good too. He could mm-hmm. be a good flex. But Joe Burrow, he does, he has been looking pretty decent. He just, yeah, he's been really doing have so. a lot of time. I think, do. I think you give him like maybe a year and some or good two. Line. And get some people in there, and then they'll be a solid team. Bro, yeah, if they get their good line and get Joe Mixon rolling, that'll take so yeah. much pressure off his shoulders. And yeah. then they'll become a more balanced team for sure. But they have weapons like T. Higgins and A.J. Green. A.J. Green, yeah. it, he gets targeted a lot, but he hasn't – I don't think he's punched it in the end zone yet. No, not yet. 
I have him on fantasy. Yeah, but he's like the number one wide receiver, so I think he oh, gets 100%. covered by the best by the by the best people. So it's yeah, that's definitely true. But which opens up options for other guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the Jags. I think it'll be a close, fun game. It could be. It could be like high scoring. It could. Yeah, I can see that. But... Definitely could be high scoring. But I think that Gardner Minshew just hops back on track and mm-hmm. gets his groove going against mm-hmm. one of the worst teams in football. Mm-hmm. For sure. I'll probably go like. I'm going to go 31 to mm, 20. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And, ooh, this is a good matchup. Browns-Cowboys. Yeah. So the Browns finally have a winning record at this year. That's yeah. like, I think it's the Who'd first have time. The Browns had a winning record and the Cowboys didn't. I know. I think it was like since 2008, maybe they've had a, since they've had a winning record. Yeah, it's been something. a while. I saw that post. Yeah. Um. So, but I think the Cowboys are going to win this one. I don't know. I just feel like Ezekiel Elliott, he's really good. And um, I think this could be a, like, because they honestly didn't do that bad against the um, Seahawks. They lost they were by up one 31 score. 30. Yeah. It's and just they Russell, just. Man. Russell yeah. Magic. Yeah. Russell comes back in the fourth quarter all the time. Yeah. DK was, had a blunder. Yeah. I know. At the he end, yeah. He just out. dropped the pass. Yeah. That was so dumb. Yeah. Um, yeah. But. The Cowboys have a lot of weapons and Dak can sling it around the yard. Like they, they they were driving it down the field in their final play of the game right then. Yeah. But Russell's just him and DK are special. Yeah. Like, they are. He, he, the balls he throws are just perfect. Yeah, they're just right at the top. Plays. He leads them just oh my god. It's gonna yeah. be crazy to see. Like on paper, the Niners definitely have a better team all around. Uh-huh. But the if you have Russell Wilson though, bro. I know he always keeps it interesting. Yeah, I don't even remember the last time the Seahawks have really sucked when he's there. They haven't. Yeah, they only they've had one time where they missed the playoffs when he's been starting. So that's legendary. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go with the boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm too. I'm gonna say it's gonna be. uh, I'm gonna say 33 to uh, to 21. So 33 21 boys. Yeah. yeah, I think I don't think it's gonna be. Um, I'm probably it's gonna be one of those. It's gonna be at least two score game, two possession yeah. game. I'll probably go like thirty five, uh, twenty four. Yeah, twenty one. Yeah, um, I can see something, that. something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really like the Cowboys. I think they'll probably get on track. They have too many weapons not to be good in their defense. Yeah, that's true. They just have to crank it up. It's just an odd season. Um, yeah, it has been. And, okay, so the Lions coming off a big dub, massive yeah. upset against one of the hotter teams in football, one of the yeah. most hyped teams in football in the uh, Arizona Cardinals. And yeah. Kyler Murray threw three picks. Yeah, rough, rough outing for him. He has more picks than touchdowns now. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah. That yeah. Tough. That, I did not see that coming. And then they're going to have an even tougher test against the Saints. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to go. So it's Saints and Cardinals this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. One of it, oh, it says no, Saints the, Lions. I think no, we got, it's Saints. We got sidetracked talking about. Oh yeah, Cardinals. Bad, dummy. No, it's all yeah, good. It's Saints Lions. Uh-huh. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the Saints on this one. Uh, Drew Brees hasn't been playing too hot recently because Michael Thomas has been out. Mm-hmm. But I just think the Saints are a better team than the Lions, and um, I'm gonna say the Saints. Like, it's not gonna be that close with them. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. Uh, Hmm. I'm gonna say twenty-eight to um ten Saints. So dude, you don't give the Lions any love. Yeah, they have the I, capability of scoring. They got one of the better quarterbacks in football. I know. And they have Kenny Gold, and I can see that turning into something. Like I think they could score more than ten points easy, but I don't know. This Saints defense is is solid. I feel yeah. like this will be one of those close games, but um I can see Drew Brees pulling something out of the hat. Yeah, I think, I think just Drew Brees. He's he's one and two right now, and he's not doing hot. But I think he's gonna like turn it around this game. Alvin Kamara, dude. Yeah, he's carrying the team. ball. Yeah, he's carrying the team for sure. Yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna have to go with the Saints, but it's gonna be like I can see it being like, mm, like thirty-one twenty-seven. Uh huh. Something like that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Kenny Galladay's back, though. Yeah. Has he been he, back? Yeah, he did okay. He got 17 points, I think. Wait, so. is it was this his first week back? 
Yeah. He'd been Crap, out. I didn't start him. Jesus. Yeah. I've been in a different league. No. Oh. Yeah. I started Keelan Cole. <laughs> oh. He's pretty good, though. He's actually not bad. Yeah, I started Deontay Johnson in one of my leagues, and he got 0. .9 points, and that's why I lost. So it was a rough. Because <laughs> I started him and Cam Newton, and Cam Newton got <laughs> whopping 11 and 0. .9. Yeah. J- uh, yeah, Lamar couldn't really get anything rolling. His yeah. line let him down in that last final drive for sure. Yeah, it was rough. But. Yeah. Um. Okay. So we don't really know a hundred percent. This game's scheduled to happen. The Steelers and Titans, but mm-hmm. who knows? And given the circumstances, probably gonna. But even even without it, I'd probably go with the Steelers on this. Mm-hmm. But this definitely helps. Yeah. Like the Titans, they're not going to be able to do much in preparation yeah. for this game. I think the Titans are a solid team. Like they're very, I think they're, I think they'll make the playoffs and do pretty well. But um, I just think the um, Steelers are going to win this one. Their defense is really good. And um, though James Conner and Juju and all those Juju. wide, yeah, all those wideouts they have, I think they're just, they're um, better than the, uh, than the Titans offense. But Derrick Henry, he's good. And also, uh, it's they really got, have like Curtis they, Samuel and DJ. A, they have AJ Brown. I think AJ Brown. Yeah, What's he's good. Dude, I free, I get all, all of these like younger wide receivers mixed up. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, but I think the Steelers are going to win this one. I think it could definitely be a close. Oh, yeah, they've game. got AJ Brown. AJ Brown. Yeah. I think it's, it could definitely be a closer game. I'm going to have to say like um, Curtis Samuel's on the Panthers. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna have to say twenty-eight to twenty-four uh, Steelers. Twenty-eight, twenty-four. Yeah, yeah. I'm going with the Steelers on this one. If the Titans give up thirty points to the Vikings, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, bro. That's that mm-hmm. a good sign. Yeah, that is rough. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the Steelers. They'll probably go four now. Um, like I've said hundreds of millions of times, not yeah. quite sold on it. But uh-huh. they're a good football team. Yeah. And, like their defense isn't bad. Mm-hmm. They've got Minka, right? And Bud mm-hmm. Dupree or whatever that guy's name is. He's pretty solid. Uh-huh. No, he is. He's very good. Um, I'm going to go Steelers. I don't think it's going to be a close game. Mm-hmm. Given the Titans circumstances, I'll probably go like, um, hmm, I'll go 34 to... 17. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just don't know what to expect from the Titans because it's going to be yeah. tough because the Steelers, like, I don't know. It's going to be hard. All right. And then I feel bad for the Dolphins, but they could make it a game against the Seahawks. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I know. I would love to see uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick just, like, ball out against that team and could win. Could you imagine? That'd be crazy. That would be absolutely fantastic if yeah. they could – Get the um, Seahawks there for give the Seahawks their yep. first call. No, that'd be awesome. But uh, I just don't. I think the Seahawks are gonna win this one. Um, Another five touchdowns for Russell Wilson. Yeah, on his probably. But uh, I think right. I think uh, Russell Wilson's gonna be balling out until when he until he plays the 49ers and then he's just gonna get stopped. But um, I feel like that's a lot of teams, dude. I don't think Patrick Mahomes can do what he's been doing to the Niners defenses. Uh huh. Like Fred yeah. Warner. And um, like yeah. I think our secondary is actually looking not too bad. I know, yeah. obviously, we haven't played like really good teams yet, but yeah. the Giants do have pretty good wide receivers. They and do. Our pass rush has been holding up, so I don't mm-hmm. know. But yeah, um, I'm yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, give this one to the Seahawks. I'm gonna say it's gonna be. Th- um, I'm gonna say thirty, uh, thirty-three to twenty-one, uh, Seahawks. Yeah. Dude, yeah, that would actually be not. That would be a moral victory for the. Yeah, that wouldn't be that bad. Of a loss. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go. With the, I'm definitely gonna go with the Hawks. Definitely rooting against them. For yeah. Them. Oh yeah. Every game I root for against the Seahawks. Let's say. But I'm probably gonna go Hawks. I'll probably just do 35, or no, I'll do 38. Mm-hmm. 38 to 30. <gasps> that'd be crazy yeah that'd be awesome. that'd be so sick so sick all right and then um moving on to the bucks versus the chargers interesting matchup is mm-hmm. is justin herbert the starter from now on 
I think so, because Tyrod Taylor's out indefinitely with a punctured lung. Dude, that's trash. I feel so bad for him. I know. But, yeah, he has not had the best of luck. But Yeah, it's been rough. Um, I'm going to this is I'm gonna have to go with the Chargers on this one over Tom Brady and the Bucs. Like, You're a fascinating uh, with the Chargers. The Chargers, bro. you got to believe. <laughs> Trust um, the process. Yeah, dude. I think Justin Herbert is going to get us. good. Yeah, I think I Justin Herbert's gonna get a statement win against the um, against the Bucks this um, week. I think I just know the the Chargers defense is good, and also the offense they have a good enough amount of weapons like um, Keenan Allen and all that, and then I think it's Mike Williams or something, mm-hmm. Austin Eckler, and all them. I think they are uh, just a better team. Like, sure, the Bucks have a good offense, and they have like Gronk and Godwin and Evans and Brady. And OJ Howard and LaShawn McCoy. OJ Howard's good. Yeah, and Leonard Fournette. But I don't know. I think the I think the Chargers have a good enough defense that they can stop them. And so I'm gonna have to say it's gonna um come down to the wire on this one. I don't think it's gonna be any like lopsided affair. Um I'm gonna go I'm gonna say it's gonna be twenty four twenty one uh Chargers. Twenty four twenty one Chargers? Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's some that's some hardcore faith right there, dude. I just don't yeah. think that the Chargers are going to get past the Bucks. The okay. Bucks, they've got a pretty decent offense. Mm-hmm. They've got a lot of weapons. OG Howard, beast. Godwin, beast. Um, who else mm-hmm. is on? Uh, the Sean McCoy got a little bit of touches. Ronald yeah. Jones got a little bit. They have Leonard, Leonard Fournette as well. Mike Evans is he hurt or something? Uh, I don't I don't know if he's hurt. Is he got like? Maybe he just didn't have a great. Oh no, he had Mike Evans. He had like two yards and two touchdowns. Remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Right Mike there. Evans is still solid, and he That's... had two receptions as well. That was yeah, two receptions for two yards and two tutties. Yeah. That's a beast out line. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with the Bucks for sure. Okay. Bucks probably twenty-eight to thirteen. I don't see him punching it in. Uh huh. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Maybe actually, I'll go twenty. I'll give Herbert a rushing touchdown in the red okay. zone. Okay. Okay. And so, I think the Ravens will definitely bounce back back uh-huh. against the Washington Football Team. Like, oh, not, yeah. not a question in my mind. Their defense oh, yeah. is still fine. They'll get. They'll manage to get stops. Keep mm-hmm. Lamar on the field. Just run the clock out. Yeah. I feel like they'll keep it out of Washington's hands for most of the game. Hmm. Not that it's crazy threat to have Dwayne Haskins in the Washington offense have the ball all the time. Yeah, no, for so, sure. Yeah, um, I just think, yeah, I think the Ravens are going to handle them pretty well. And Chase Young has an injury. I don't think he's going to be out for that long. But really, I don't, yeah, I don't think I don't know if he's going to miss this game. But he just is. Uh, he's just really good. And um, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I might hinder him being. Mm-hmm. Have a, I think he has a groin injury. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the Ravens are gonna do really well, and they're just gonna have a like a demolish them. I'm gonna say it's gonna be, uh, hmm, I'm gonna say 41 to to 17. 41 17. Yeah, I'll probably go like 38 10 10 because okay. I think that the Ravens are just gonna probably because they're kind of more. I mean, they obviously have big playability, but they kind of dink and dunk and work their way down the field, take their time sometimes, uh-huh. and that 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 takes up clock. It so does. I feel like they have the capability to score whenever they want to, like big plays mm-hmm. sometimes, but except when they're playing the Chiefs. Uh-huh. That's obviously. true. But I think that they they kind of just their games are kind of fast because they keep mm-hmm. the ball on the ground, they keep the clock ticking, and that's how you win ball games. Honestly, like our time, uh-huh. the Niners time of possession was wild. Against the um the Giants. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, blowout there. And then Cards Panthers. This actually has the makings to be a pretty decent game because he's got two good young quarterbacks. Oh yeah, no, I think it could definitely be a good game um between these guys. I don't yeah, I don't know. The without Christian McCaffrey. I said I think if they had Christian McCaffrey, I would give the dub to the Panthers, but I don't know. I'm not to pick the Cardinals on this one. Um they just Listen this, to this. You're going to pick the Cardinals? Yeah. Let's see if I can what? change your mind. Buda okay. Baker is doubtful. Christian Kirk, 
questionable and Chris Banjo. Both their safeties are dinged up. Uh huh. Hmm. Without Buda Baker, bro, their defense is tr- like exponentially worse. Yeah. Well, yeah, Buda Baker's not playing. Huh. Yeah, I'll give it this one to the Panthers. Yeah. Because that's, I feel like the Panthers, t- if, um, because Teddy can, Teddy can throw and he can yeah, score he, touchdowns. He, he can. I mean, yeah, I'll I'll give this one to the Panthers. Actually, um, I'll say. I'll say the Panthers are going to win this one. I think it's not going to be like a blowout by any means, but I'm going to say it's going to be 21-17 uh, Panthers. Yeah, that's a good score. Yeah. I'll probably go. I feel like the cards, they'll get something rolling. Mm-hmm. But I'll go like, I'll go 31-24. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I can see that. For sure. Not having Buda bigger, that's Big, big yeah that double. is maybe you'll suck it up i don't know mm-hmm. okay so texans and v- 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 vikings uh-huh. Vikings coming off a devastator loss texans haven't won a game these are probably two of the better teams that haven't won a game in the national football yeah league. so i think the texans are gonna get their first dub of the season mm-hmm. i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna hmm, this is interesting because like i think the 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 vikings have better wide receivers than the texans do with Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson, well, yeah, for I think sure. I think they're both solid. And I don't know, I'm, but I I just have to. I think Deshaun Watson's gonna do it this week. He's just he's, too good. Yeah, he's always he's gonna willing keep his it. team into games. Like you know, he he always is gonna keep it um, close. And um, so I'm gonna take this to Deshaun Watson. I'm gonna say it's gonna be twenty twenty four to fourteen at Texans. 24-14? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good score. I'll probably go like... Yeah, I'll probably go like 27 to 21. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really still have faith in the Texans. I think they'll get the job done. They just don't have a crazy amount of weapons on offense. Mm-hmm. That's true. Deshaun definitely needs way more help. But yeah, yeah I feel bad for him there. But he'll be loyal. I think that one... He'll get, he'll I think he'll win a Super Bowl one day. He's definitely like would you have him he's is he t- he's top 5 quarterbacks in the league for sure probably. Probably yeah, for sure. 100%. Okay. All right. The Rams <laughs> the Rams are going to toast the Giants. <laughs> yeah, no I think they will. I think yeah. it'll be I'm going to say 28. But who knows though? Yeah. Who knows? Because, I'm going to oh, wait, but yeah. the Bills defense was really good and they were uh-huh. The Giants' defense is not the Bills' defense. Yeah, that's true. And they did drop a lot of points on them. Because but they I'm a twenty-eight-three. Yeah, they you know, the, the Bills' defense just kind of fell apart. Um, mm-hmm. Second half, but I'm going to say twenty-eight to twenty-eight ten. Twenty-eight ten. Yeah. Yeah, Rams. Yeah, I'll probably. Yeah, dude. I'm honestly going to say like. Pro- I think the Rams will probably go like it's going to be like thirty four seventeen. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the Giants get out to an early lead, catch the Rams sleeping a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. dude. The Rams, they're gonna they're gonna be a tough test for the Niners, bro. Yeah, they will be for sure. This is gonna be a good game. The next team, Pats Chiefs. Pats Chiefs. Yeah, this would be interesting to watch for if sure. Cam Newton, like steps up. I I put them against anybody in the league. Yeah, honestly. You know, Cam has done solid with the Patriots so far. Um, uh, when Cam balls out, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Yeah, he is. That's for sure. I'm going to have to go. I'm going to go Patriots on this one over the Chiefs. I'm going to say, uh, okay. yeah, I think, I don't know. I think Cam, this is going to be like a statement win for him against the uh, reigning Chiefs. Super Bowl champions. Yeah, and it's going to be the the old world order is going to be restored of the Patriots running the league again. Um, I'm going to give, I'm going to say, uh, old is restored. Yeah. I'm going to say 30. Uh, hmm, this is interesting. I'm going to say 35 to 36 Patriots. It's going to be close. 36, 35. And then yeah. my heart's telling me Patriots. 
but yeah. my mind is telling me Chiefs. I know, like it's yeah, it's a hard. I'm bet gonna have to, to go with the Chiefs them. simply for my record. Yeah, but in my heart, I want them to lose. Just know yes, that. for sure, dude. You know what my dad said? What? What did he say? I think the Seahawks and the Chiefs are going to be in the Super Bowl, probably. No, no, like, no, no. Excuse, excuse me, <laughs> sir. <laughs> ha. No. And then I was like, what? No. How dare you? He's like, Russell and DK are good. And I'm like, Shh, what are you talking no, not until, about? Not until they play the 49ers, they're not. No. Okay. And then a little ticker, the ticker came up on the bottom of ESPN, and it said, like, Chris Carson's hurt. And I was like, oh, that probably makes you sad, doesn't it? I know. Seahawks, man. Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> rough wow i was trolling him all night i was like yes. wow yeah jamal adams has a groin injury makes him depressed yeah yeah but you're so sad jamal's out yeah i was so but, bad when he said that how mm-hmm. could you say that out of all the teams in the league like so. yes but yeah, russell wilson's playing like the best quarterback in the nfl though he is he is but last year the best quarterback in the nfl lamar jackson didn't even make it past the first round so yeah, he's know. lost um what six times now in his career. Yeah, something like Two that. Two of them are the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, they kind of threw him to the wolves against the Chargers that first round, though. Or yeah. was that the was that that was that w- divisional round? Yeah, yeah. it was. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. was tough. That was a tough game, and he still managed to come back a little bit too. Yeah, he did. But the Tennessee game that was not. Yeah, good. yeah that was that was surprising. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm probably gonna go the Chiefs. I could see it being like a closer, like I'll go maybe 37, 28, mm-hmm. something like that. I think Cam gets his, but yeah. Patrick's just dude. He's so elusive and he extends plays. Literally, that's how you win. Yeah, it's like there's no one fast enough or more athletic enough to spy yeah. Patrick or Russell, basically. Mm-hmm. Because you need those guys down in coverage. Like, because if he just buys time, Tyler Lockett gets open first. Yeah. And then if yeah. you have drop everybody back in coverage, yeah. he just scrambles for eight yards and gets the first down. It's like it's the most frustrating football to watch. Oh yeah, no, like, for it's sure. So dumb. Like the um the Ravens were sending some heat. Yeah. And he just he just rolls out. <laughs> yeah, it's it was, it was honestly crazy. they need to do what you do to me and Matt and <laughs> just yeah. drop everybody back. No yeah. pass rush. No. Drop everybody no. back, QB spy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how you do it. Lock them up. But, yeah. Okay. All right. This could be a good game, but definitely gonna probably go with the Bills versus the Raiders. Bills versus Raiders. Yeah, I'm gonna say the Bills gonna win this one. Um I yeah, I don't know if it's if yeah, I don't know much about if the Raiders are going to get stuff, something going against this team, but I just think the Bills, the Bills are more complete. I think they're definitely going to um, be able to handle the Raiders pretty easily. I'm going to say it's going to be uh, 31 to 31 to 17. Um, uh, 31 Bills. 17. Yeah. yeah, I'll probably go like. I don't know, dude. Like twenty-seven to mm. twenty-three, maybe. Okay, I think yeah. it'd be maybe a closer game, but I, I don't really know. But mm-hmm. the I think the Bills get it done. Josh Allen's too good. Yeah. They've got tons of weapons on offense, and then their yeah. defense is obviously beast. They are, yeah, they're very good. I yeah. just don't know because, like, I just don't see the Raiders scoring a lot of points in this game. Yeah, me neither. I don't know, but. Um, cause if you basically, if you shut down Josh Jacobs, like you're going to have a good shot of winning. Oh, for sure. Yeah. He's like their, he's like their best player. So, mm-hmm. um, okay. Now we're going to, I think what in Monday night football? Yeah. Falcons Packers. Yeah. That's going to be a good one. Yeah, it will be. It'll be a shootout. hundred percent. Because the Packers defense garbage. Mm-hmm. Atlanta's defense, hot garbage. Um, <laughs> no, gonna, dude. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give this win to Green Bay, though. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Falcons go up by 40 points in the fourth quarter, and then drop the lead and lose it. <laughs> they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna be. It's gonna be like 40 to three, and then Aaron Rodgers is gonna come back and like 
just ball out. No, I'm going to, um, my actual score, I'm going to say it's going to be 38-31 um, Packers. Yeah, dude, I want to get on that Falcons. Like, they are good. Their yeah, offense they just, is good. They just can't hold the lead. Bro. Ah, I don't know. What if I think they- the game plan for them is to always be down in games and then come back and then just win it, like, at the end and not, like, lose a lead. So. Um, I'm going to have to go with – hmm. Oh, this is a fun one. I, dude, nice. if I – the Packers haven't let me down yet this year. Yeah, they haven't either. But the yeah. Falcons, the they Falcons, can score some puntos. They could. They can score puntos, but they can't hold the puntos. <laughs> they can't oh. hold the lead. I'm going to have to go with – fuck it, dude. Mm. The Atlanta Falcons. Okay, okay. Ah! It'd, be, it'd be a nice victory if they won. 100%. But I can – Definitely see this not going in their favor. Yeah. They'll be up like 24 3 at halftime. Yeah. And then just like slowly, it's just. No, like, they'll, go, they'll go up 28 3 at halftime and they'll be like, oh, not again. And yeah, then, yeah, I know. And then but honestly, how much of a mental like fuck is that? Like you yeah. blow all these leads, you know what I mean? Yeah, like that's tough. It must be so depressed. Just like. I know. Yeah. So that wraps up the games. What's okay. something? What's a crazy thing that's gonna happen this week? What's let your me, prediction? Let me let me look. Okay. Um. Huh. I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna time. say, Nick Mullins throws for four TDs again. You yeah. didn't really said that, dude. He's he's gonna pop off. I'm telling you. Okay. He's gonna throw. Actually, no, no, no. I'm taking that back because if he does that, people are gonna be like, "Oh, he should start over Jimmy Garoppolo." That's gonna be sad. I'm gonna say Justin Herbert. Throw us for four touchdowns against the Bucks. Okay. Because and then he's gonna everyone's gonna be like, dang, he's a good quarterback. And so yeah. Wait, so why didn't you you want to take that back against? Because the- if he does, if he does, Dude, he's um, throw like NFC East teams. If he does yeah. that, it's not that big of a deal. I know, but then everybody you're gonna see in the comment section of all these posts about the Niners about how Nick Mullins to start. So Herbert throws Jimmy four teeds. Yeah, I'm gonna say Herbert throws four touchdowns. All right, for me, let me look at my matchups here. Where are my Jags at? Jags Bengals. Uh huh. I'm gonna go. Uh, let me see here. Let me see. What's another good matchup we've got? We've got Rant. I'll go. Actually. I think- uh, I'm think, gonna go. I'm gonna go. Um, the Patriots game. I'm gonna go. Cam Newton three rushing touchdowns. I could see that. Like, yeah, that could definitely be. A, yeah, but not good. over the air. Just three rushing. Uh huh. Three rushing tutties. I feel like that's good. All he but, had to do against the Seahawks was just jump over the line and get a touchdown. Like, yeah, honestly. Okay, and so last thing. Mm-hmm. You want to? You should r- rank the best three and the rank the um current three no teams from like, uh like, one to uh, how many are there? I think there's seven. Undefeated. Undefeated. Okay, so we got Seattle, Chicago, Green Bay, KC, Tennessee, Pittsburgh, and Buffalo. Uh huh. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Um, Start at seven. It's uh, the worst three no team. I think is the Bears. Yeah, I think for sure they are. And then, um, and then after that, I'm going to have to say uh, I'm going to go with the Titans as number six of the worst three no teams. And then uh, I'm going to say after that, I'm going to go with Green Bay as five. Um, they just haven't really played like teams that are that great. Mm-hmm. That's why I yeah. think this um, this Falcons game is going to be a test. Yeah, no, I could definitely see that. Um, and then number four on the three no teams, I'm gonna say the Steelers. Um, number wait four Steelers. Yeah, four is Steelers. Three is the Bills. Mm-hmm. Two is the Seahawks, and then one is the Chiefs. 
All right, we saw that coming a mile away. Yeah. All right, yeah, I like that a lot. I don't mm-hmm. really disagree. I might okay. have. I might honestly have Pittsburgh at six, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, in my heart, I'd say the Seahawks are the number thirty-two team in the league. Yeah, but 100%. the right now the worst team in football, dude. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I get a lot of hate for that. Bro, the Niners have the best point differential in the NFC. Oh yeah, I know. Actually, in the whole NFL, dude, they we have the best, have the best two quarterbacks on the te- on the same team. Yeah, the best they, two quarterbacks we, in the NFL are on the same as the 49ers. We have a 41 point differential. And that's the highest. The second highest is the Colts with 39. Dude, name better running back core in the National Football League. I mean, the only one that'd be close is the Browns, but they don't not as good as the um, Niners are. They've got Hunt and Chubb. Yeah, those are both really good, but but that, the, that, that's not a thing though. Like. Yeah, but I mean, the, they have two good running backs, and like the 49ers have like four good running backs. But I, I wouldn't say they're close, but they're like the one, the closest team to having. Lucas Giolito is perfect through five, five innings. Oh, there you go. Hopefully, I jinx him. Awesome. Because I don't care about any other MLB baseball team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm depressed. But yeah, yeah, so that basically wraps up the that this upcoming week four hopefully everything stays normal and we can play a whole 17 weeks of football yeah no that'd be awesome it would be complete trash if covid just destroys i don't know nfl it'd be almost kind of nice though because then nick bosa would come back we'd have to worry about him being out for the rest of the year like yeah i don't know but they can stay i think i think the niners can still handle that without nick bosa like no, well, hundred percent, dude. Yes, their pass rush is still one of the best in the league. Yeah, I know they're fine. I don't know. The force Buckner good. is kind of popping off on the Colts, though. Like, is he actually? I oh, mean, yeah, I the, forgot the force is on. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, yeah, Kinlaw is still really good. Oh yeah, but like the force Buckner is crazy. The force Buckner and Eric Armstead that was one of the best D tackle combos in the league. Oh yeah, I know for sure. But, wow. That sucks ass. That yeah, I was sad they couldn't keep both of them. So, yeah, they just just they decided to pay Armstead. Armstead is really good though. Uh huh. No, he is. I don't know. He, It'll he be is. interesting to see. I don't think the Eagles are going to do much, but it could be close again. Like, cause it was yeah. at one point we were six to six with the Giants. Like that's wild. <laughs> yeah, but it was just because Nick, dude, Nick Mullins. It was so much fun to watch him progress throughout the game. Uh huh. Because he was getting, he got more comfortable, more comfortable, more comfortable, and then he was started threading the needle. Uh-huh. Like, oh, I see you, Mullen. Oh yeah, was, no, for sure. Like that one throw he made to Jarek. Yeah, that, that was, was filthy. Dope. And then when he, he did to when he did to Brandon Ayuk, that was crazy too. Yeah. yeah. And then they got Kendrick Bourne rolling. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. No, yeah. Tons of weapons, but yeah, hopefully everything's okay with Jordan Reed. He's, mm-hmm. he's hurt though, huh? He's out for six to eight weeks or so. But he'll be back in crunch time, so it's like okay. Ross Dwelly's awesome. No, yeah, Ross Dwelly definitely can handle it. He did he did really good. He like trucked a guy like mm-hmm. last game. That was pretty filthy. So But yeah. Okay, Sheridan. Yeah. Well awesome. thank you. Yeah. This was oh, fun. No, for sure. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right. right. This will be uh, probably on Thursday. Okay, sounds good. Sounds All right. Good. All right. Bye bye.